Hi, today we have a roundup of some wonderful books. Uh, if you're looking for gifts, we have nonfiction, fiction, and something for the kids. And the first two are books by Jennifer L. Scott. This is Lessons from Madame Chic, 20 Stylish Secrets She Learned While Living in Paris. And this is At Home with Madame Chic, which is about becoming a connoisseur of daily life. And Jennifer has a wonderful YouTube channel, which you can follow for a dose of weekly calm and inspiration. Um, so that's one thing. And then we have, this is very exciting, The Secret Life of the Grown-Up Brain by Barbara Strouch. This is about the talents, the surprising talents of the middle-aged brain that really transformed what I expected from my own brain. Um, from sort of 40 to 65. It, studies have shown that the white matter increases in the brain, which allows faster processing of information and leads to other good things, even if recall isn't as good as we might like. Um, and this book is called The Practice. This is by Bob Schmidt, and it's simple tools for managing stress, finding inner peace, and uncovering happiness. And next we have two delightful books by Andrea Rayner. The first, um, Incognito, is her true story. She's a uh, chaplain who went to Harvard Divinity School. And this is The Voice That Calls You Home, which is essays about um, dealing with difficulties and maintaining hope. And then next we have Out of the Bubble, by Shelby McGrath Myers. And this is actually the first uh, self-published book that I've ever reviewed. I literally couldn't put it down. It's sad, they lost their son to epilepsy, um, but they got through it and now they have a website, claytonshope.org, who, and they offer support and help to people dealing with epilepsy. Um, we have Fiction, Another Night, Another Day by English author Sarah Rayner, which is about friendship, family, and also dealing with difficulties. Um, I love that. The writing's great. And we have a short story collection by B.J. Novak called And One More Thing. Uh, dark and hilarious, and my favorite one is called No One Goes to Heaven to See Dan Fogelberg. He's a very clever young man. And we have um, a young adult novel called Rebels by Accident by Patricia Dunn about a 16-year-old American Egyptian Muslim girl who's conflicted about her heritage and she gets arrested and is sent to live with her grandma in Egypt where she gets even in even more trouble and learns something about self-acceptance. And we have the picture book, very sweet story, The Magic of Maxwell and His Tale, which is by Maureen Stolar Canefield. And it's about how it's okay to be different and can even be a good thing to be different. And last but not least, a shameless plug, Cocktails for Book Lovers, my own book, um, 50 fabulous recipes inspired by books and um, almost a hundred book recommendations and my dearest hope is that people might use it if you're not in a book club that you might use it to start a book club because they're so good for us so that's it have a wonderful holiday thanks so much for watching